bucks apiece. Uh, Phil Taylor is leading as we join it in the ninth set. He leads by two legs to nil. It's a Skittles game with a swinging rope. The rope holding low is very thin indeed. Taylor will have walked to the hockey saying, right, one leg of 501. I've got the darts. All I have to do is play my normal game. And I'm through. It could be the Tenuma. We've had a classic. But if Taylor takes this leg, oh, low, really. Hanging on to the coattails. But this has been the kind of game where 81 to start is not enough. And low bites back with that 140. Now, Taylor, a 180 here will be absolutely magical, but even so, you've got to say 135 keeps him in contention. And that might well have gone in, but for the ricochet. He prowls the hockey like a prairie cat, a wild cat. But he knows its fangs must be sharp there or thereabouts on the 60. 100. This ranks, I've got to say, 43. This is one of the greatest performances I've seen John Lowe make. He's played some magnificent games in all sorts of circumstances, tournaments, international matches, county games in his long time in this game. But this surely 100. stands up in comparison to anything he's done before. Quite brilliant, really, to stand up there and slug it out. The, the requirement? Is a 161 from low to save the match. His opponent is on a three data. It's gone through his mind that it'll be beauty to start with a 60. He needed it. He now must think of a small two dart pressure finish. This is a very vital dart because Taylor can win the match with the next three. And those may 60. well be the last darts that low has thrown. Because Taylor, look. Shrugs his shoulders, not in disdain, in preparation for 102 for the match. 82 left, coming down, I think, for the bull. 57, 17 will leave double top. 62. And now John Lowe, I've said before, John questions asked, 101. 101. I'm sure he knows to stay in this marvellous match. Yes. Good dart. One for tops. One for tops. Tops he wants to stay alive. Yes! And every John Lowe fan in this circus tavern venue is on his fur. And we're all on our feet in the commentary box, too. It was magic. Absolute magic. Game on, please. Thank you. Pandemonium at the circus as Lowe saves the semi-final. Who's gonna get to play Harrington in tomorrow's final as tomorrow gets closer? 60. El Lobo. Oh, the powerhouse from the Potteries. The 36th leg of this contest. Lowe gets 60. Taylor still going strong. Regains the initiative. Now how? And the great man reply. One in between. Desperately needs this one to bisect. He gets it. I put my life on that. It was always on. Relentless Taylor. 99. Her hair was held up with clips when this started nearly two hours ago. The crowd witnessing a veritable festive hogmanay feast of darts. 60. But we know Banquo's ghost occasionally came to feasts. Who will be the hunter? Who will be the haunted? Taylor with the claymore. Using it like a prince. 140! Oh, that, it's John Lowe, who on 281 sees Taylor on a three-dart finish. And although 
Paolo provided that marvellous finish last time to stay alive. He needs to do it again, that's good. It just gives him a chance, it leaves him on a finish. But Taylor, 122, is going orthodox. That's the first bounce out in this match, I'm convinced. 62 left, treble 10. 52 when he goes. Once again, John Lowe. John, you require 158. Looking for a big kill. Two treble 20s, double 19. Just over the top now. We'll leave 78 left. Treble 18 for double 12. Meanwhile, Taylor waits 98. to bounce. So 52. Do you require 52? 20. Double 16, 12, double top, double top. It's helped him so many times in this match. It could help him again if he's half a centimetre lower. 12 Low still alive. We're going to go to two apiece in. I know it's destined Don't this match to 16. go into a tie break. And I hate to be practical, but Dave Lennon's going to have to do the final on his toe because our tonsils are taking some terrible pain here, son. Anyway, try and rest them a bit. Yeah. It's low! It in. Four, four, six. Two, two legs. Sounds like Gary Glitter. Lots of fun still to come on Sky Sports 2 Live. How Ladies on and gentlemen, earth. please. How on earth. As the score has now reached two legs each in Does the final Taylor set. To For the first he went time two legs up this in week, this set. The tiebreaker rule and now comes hand. into effect. This leg must be one mile by two clear legs. If that is not achieved by the time the score reaches five legs each, then leg 11 becomes sudden death. Fifth leg, Phil to throw first. Well, you heard it from the master voice, Freddie Williams telling you there. It's got to go now to a two-leg margin for victory to be achieved. And back to five apiece, that's all, and then sudden death. Away we go again. Sid, I'm not so bold as to say it's the greatest match I've ever seen. I've seen some belters in my 100. time. But it certainly has to rank along with the very, very best of them. Quite unique, quite marvellous. Well, as Albert Einstein said on a good night in Vienna, relativity is all. There is no such thing as a supreme darts match, but there is a superb one. And for the first match in success, for the third match in succession, we've seen Taylor strike nine magical maximums. 129 in all now in the tournament. We're well, talking about magical. It's the pantomime season coming up. And if the good fairy came up, yes! There's the possibility now, I've got to tell you, of a ten daughter. A ten daughter by Taylor is now possible in this incredulational match. 140. Who we require 16? A ten daughter in a game which has seen some magnificent finishes. And he yes! climaxes oh, those And Taylor, Taylor strikes again. He leads by three legs to two in this Six deciding legs. set. John to throw he John struck throwing Able, first, please. must hang on in again. He struck like a pterodactyl. There was determination written all over that performance in that incredible leg. Low... 85. Low fighting to save the match. Rod Harrington is sitting somewhere, licking his lips, dry mouth. He's in the final. I tell you what, Samara. Which one of these two looks like going to be Taylor now? Yes, Taylor knows he'd rather hit the 11 darter against the darts, throwing second. It means your opponent has got to go out in uh, 12 himself if he's going to beat you, because uh, now is the time, really. The man throwing second really does 60. need to produce his best. All the Taylor. lads and lasses here. Taylor's accuracy around about the 60. 95! Brilliant, we've had some amazing low, low level legs. 15, 15, 15, 14, 15, 15, 14, 12. They're wrapping in amazing legs. As John said, it'd be nice to get one against the guards. We've just had an 11 dot as well. Gold fingers the tune, golden darts. 
from John Lowe. 100. And golden moments galore. Just a ton. He looked in case there was the chance of more. The pressure coming in. But there are three darts here. That's what champions are made of, sir. 140 in those circumstances and uh, not far off the maximum. So he's looking at now, Lowe, to take the second score line. Three, three. Single 16. He wants tops to take it. Nip and tuck. Pulled. 96. Now Taylor 107. Taylor 107. 107. That's how close it was. Treble 19 for Taylor. He's going for 50 left. Will almost certainly go 10 for tops. No points in going for Bull there. He's got the 10 and double top. But you've got to say, as Taylor jumps up and down and punches the air, that that is the full stop at the end of a magnificent story.